Oh, we're excited. Good Friday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. And I am Natalie Taylor, and we're ready to talk a little baseball. Yeah, kinda. Legos and baseball. <laughs> the Art of the Brick, the world's largest display of Lego art, opens tonight in downtown Tampa. Award-winning artist Nathan Sawaya is here to give us a sneak peek. He's been everywhere this week. He has Good been. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. This well, we are so excited to have you because this exhibit is awesome. But first, I got to address why I'm holding a baseball here. Yeah. <laughs> it just made Major League Baseball history. Yeah, I think so. It, it, that's <laughs> not just a baseball. That is a Lego baseball. <laughs> that was the first pitch at the Rays game on Wednesday. Will it be at the exhibit that we're going to get ready to see? I think do it you might. take this home? I, well, what do you do with the baseball now? I don't know if Natalie's going to give it back to me. <laughs> I might not. I might not give it back. <laughs> well, the bottom line is it didn't hit home plate, didn't bust into a million pieces. No, it was caught by the catcher, thank goodness. So, uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was kind of exciting to throw out a first pitch, but made out of Lego. And it's a great way to start, you know, kick off the Art of the Brick coming to Tampa. So talk about what we will see at this exhibit, which I love as a parent of a three-year-old. This event is free for families to go to. Yes, the Vinick Foundation has been so generous to make this exhibition completely free for all the visitors. And it'll be here through September 4th, so everyone can come down. Families will have a lot to see because there's art all made out of Lego. And Nathan, I'm so fascinated about your background. Lawyer turned Lego builder. Could that be the correct title? Was or? A Lego builder. Did you do it as a kid, well, then turn lawyer, and then come back? Oh, that might go. be more accurate. Okay. I did have Lego bricks as a child, uh, but then later on in life, what does every young budding artist do? Of course, they go to law school. <laughs> no, I, and I was practicing corporate law in New York City, and I needed some sort of creative outlet. Uh, sometimes it was drawing or painting, and one day I just thought, why not Lego bricks? Could I take Lego bricks into the contemporary art world? And so I started experimenting, eventually left the law firm behind to become a full-time artist that plays with toys. And every time, as we're looking on our screen right now at some of the examples of, of the art, I mean, you're taking traditional pieces of art, making it into Lego. And when I see these things, the question that keeps going on in my head, how? <laughs> well, you know, it's a process, just like any sculpture. Uh, some of these works that you saw uh, were were replicas of famous works of art, but some of them are original, or original pieces that I just come up with from my imagination. And in every case, I envision in my mind what that final piece looks like before I put down that first brick. Is, does anything go on paper first and then? Oh, of course, they, there's okay. sketching, there's drawing, and I'm actually gluing every brick together. I was gonna I ask, because I, again, I go back to that three-year-old and four-year-old I have <laughs> when you bring kids through this exhibit. We don't, remember that happened a while ago with another artist. <laughs> yeah, well, oops. everything's glued together because okay. We're shipping artwork all over the world. Okay. I want to make sure it arrives in one piece. Okay. It uh, stays in one piece. Exactly. <laughs> um, and there are some loose bricks at the very end of the exhibition in case someone is inspired okay. and wants to play with some Lego. They can go in, grab some bricks, and create something on their own. So what advice do you have for parents and family? So my son is three. We're right. just getting, and even girls, too, I should say. I think Lego's done a good job with getting girls trying to build, too. But as they kind of start this process, I mean... What do you do? I mean, just let their imaginations go. How I think can we help encourage this? Yeah, I think imagination is key. Awesome. I think uh, as an artist, I'm here to inspire. That's my role. Yeah. So I hope this exhibition inspires folks. I hope that kids come through and they get inspired mm -hmm. to create. But I also hope adults get inspired as well. This is a type of exhibition that uh, appeals to everyone. Everyone's played with Lego bricks. Mm -hmm. Everyone can relate to this type of work because it's made out of something we're all familiar with. So it's a type of work that it's almost democratizing the art world mm -hmm. in a way that everyone can relate to it. And hopefully when they see the exhibition, everyone has a little more art in their lives, a little <laughs> more creativity. And how are you able, or, or is it a partnership with Lego? Where do you get the, the bricks from? Where do you build these? What's your right. studio like? It's a great question. I, I buy all my bricks oh, just wow. like everyone else. Okay. Do you have a special uh, Special number, though. I imagine you're, you're ordering a lot. Well, Surplus. I do. I do. I'm a very unique customer. Okay. So I have. So you a, at least get a discount. I, I have a good you relationship. I, I have a good relationship with the Lego Group, and I, I buy hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of bricks every month. I have a studio in Los Angeles where I keep six million bricks on hand, and that's so I, I can just grab the bricks I need and start building. I don't have to wait. I, I want a big inventory, all the different shapes and colors, and just start creating. How many have you stepped on? You know, here's the great thing. After building with Lego for a few years, I don't even feel it when I step on a Lego. Bike. So that's the secret. Just keep, yeah, just, just keep stepping on it. It might be. It might be. Thank yeah. you so much Thanks, for coming Nathan. again. Again, a free event uh, through September 4th. So it's going to be here for several weeks. Thank you. Congratulations on all your success. You have quite the story. Have you written a book? 
I have. I really okay, I, I was, I'm yeah. assuming that you, you needed to because <laughs> yeah. this is awesome. <laughs>